Joining me now to discuss host of the Kimberly Guilfoyle Show on Rumble. Kimberly Guilfoyle, what's up? All right, uh, Kim, before we start, I, I, I got to get to this. Special counsel David Weiss intends to seek an indictment against Hunter Biden related to a gun charge by the end of the month, according to the DOJ. Uh, what do you make of this? I'm going to be positive. It's a good sign, but it's long past due. This should have come years ago, but because of the public pressure for accountability, for justice, for transparency, we're finally seeing a slight development. So this is what needs to happen. You know, it's obviously very important. We're going to see this coming forward about September, you know, 29th, according to the report. Um, I'm hopeful that we will finally see some accountability. It is long past due. And you look at this, the juxtaposition of what they have done, the persecution publicly of Donald Trump with four sham indictments and 750 plus years that they're looking at mm -hmm. to try to imprison him. American people are waking up and it's all across the country and they want to see the accountability. I believe this will be just the beginning and the reckoning and retribution will come when Donald Trump restores accountability and justice mm -hmm. when he is reelected in 2020. This came in, in, in strikingly close proximity to a time when the judge who issued a, hey, can you guys update me on what's going on with this gun charge? All of a sudden this pops up. But I want to get back to Kevin McCarthy, okay? Mm. Look, for, for what it's worth, I think he's done a decent job at Speaker, but he's now up against a lot of problems. We got to cut some numbers here, and it doesn't seem like he, he's very interested, or at least he ha he's able to get a bunch of other people on board to cut the serious things that need to be cut. What do you make of it? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, I've known Kevin for a long time. I know him when he was in leadership in, uh, you know, California when I lived back there. And I think he has done a very good job in terms of really pushing forward the Republican America First agenda. But, you know, it's all about kind of that pushback and checks and balances. And we do have strong principled people of integrity like Congressman Matt Gates, who is mm. also a good friend, trying to make sure to hold government accountable. And no one is above reproach in that. Accountability means for every member, uh, man or woman in Congress, every United States senator, and for the Speaker of the House. And I think that's what's made this a very healthy and robust and honest conversation to do the best for the American people and moving forward to get those majorities in and strong people that are actually going to stand on principle to do the right thing by the American American people by the taxpayers that they are beholden to. And, you know, levels of uh, leadership at all levels need to be held accountable. Yeah. And, and that includes Speaker McCarthy. And I think he would agree with that statement, quite frankly. Um, that's what it's about. We don't want the government trolls of the past that people are just paycheck collectors, you know, wind checkers. Yeah can perhaps keep them in office. Uh, the Rhino Deep State Uniparty Globalist uh, Alliance, we're done with that. We need radical transformation and uh, reformation in this country if we are to move it forward in the right direction because the abyss and uh, waste and deceit uh, and dysfunction of the past and what we've seen in the past two years is reprehensible. Mm -hmm. It is no longer acceptable in this country and the American people are going to demand it and we are all going to witness it on election day. But KG, what do you think about shutting down the government over? Do you think it's worth it? I think in times that that is a necessary measure to do so. And I don't do it for theater, for theatrics, or support it for any other reason, that if it's something that we need to do mm -hmm. to get the right job done and restore accountability and honesty to government, then we need to do it. When you see something that has become incredibly sick, you've got to cut the tumor out and you've got to fix Fair it enough. and save it. And the American uh, people demand it. Our country is is really deserving of it. And that's why people are you know, resoundingly um, coming up in droves to Donald Trump, and he is so ahead in the polls, which I've talked about in my column for the 100%. Washington Times op-ed about the MAGA momentum, the building, the poll numbers looking better than ever. And I think yeah. you see that there was a failure to launch at the RNC debate, and uh, Trump is running away with this. Yeah, we're actually going to be breaking down some of the polls in swing states, which a lot of people haven't done yet a little bit later in the show. But I want to get to this. A Washington-based ethics watchdog, whatever that means. There's no ethics in Washington, and they're <laughs> yeah. not watchdogs. I, it, they've filed a lawsuit to block Donald Trump from appearing on the Colorado ballot now. First it was New Hampshire, now it's Colorado. These clowns, what is, what, to what end? 
Well, you're you're bringing up uh, great points here because they will go to any end to try to stop Donald Trump because they can't beat him in the, uh, in the ballot box. They do not want to see him actually be the nominee. They do not want him to see the front runner and going in in a general mm -hmm. election in a dead heat to take back this country. So they're going to use lawfare. They're going to use persecution, sham indictments, fake investigations, impeachments, all of the above. But it's all falling flat on its face. And this is just another tactic that is un-American that they are doing that really flies in the face of democracy and all the founding principles that our founding fathers fought for that this country is based on, on the Constitution of the United States. It is unethical and un-American and it has to be put to a stop. Yeah. Donald Trump will be on the ballot in every single state of this union. And that is what's going to happen. And then people will be able to cast the vote for the American president right. that is worthy of seeking the office of commander in chief and not that guy that's in there that is a complete joke and his vice president or anyone else that's going to try to go against Trump. Well, obviously, KJ, you missed the, the section in school where the, the Democrats have to destroy democracy in order to save it. So obviously... <laughs> well, they want to burn it to the ground, but we're not yeah. going to let him. The fire department is here. Yep. Kimberly Guilfoyle, that's the best analogy I've heard all day. Appreciate you being here. God bless. Thank you. All right. Straight ahead, 